Look at that bait ball right there. Sure shit. Yep, there's see, very... see it right underneath there? It's like clockwork. It is. You know, you can the almost... Is, the thing is, like, you know, with... I guess I don't... I should probably get more used to this my trying to, like, looking for bait balls. Yep. And right now there's a fish down there on that... Yep. So there's, there's a fish there, there, and there. All hanging around that bait. That's cool. Like, you know, you see it on TV. Like, people are like, oh, you know, wherever they're at. But, like, never, never. This is what muskies spend about 90% of their time doing. Babysitting bait, out in the bay. Whether it's whitefish, alewives, perch, shad. And then they come in the spawn or they go up on the reefs, you know, on the shoals for a little bit feet up in there and then head back out. Their sanctuary is deep water. That's where they spend the vast majority of their time. So they come in here to eat? Yeah. No, they're in here to spawn right now. Yeah. Still. But there's no reason for them to really leave because look at all the bait here. Right. So once they're done with that, they'll spend most of their day looking for, you know, babysitting bait balls out here, looking for something to eat. Sorry. We, when the waves hit, yep. I cranked it up a little bit and I forgot to bring her back down. Oh, that's fine. So well, what happens then is your bait is behind the cone and you're not going to be able to see it. So you have to move your rod tip more towards the, the throttle. I got you. And then you'll be, see there's yeah, your exactly. Yep. A lot more to it than just going like this all day. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what people think. It's like, oh, it's, it's so boring. But this is like playing a video game. Right, yeah. When you you know? Big old can is official, right? And when you see them hit, you know, and like I said, you're, you're mixing it up and trying different stuff to trigger that, that bite. You know, better than any video game I ever played, I'll tell you that. Right, yeah. Oop, something's racing up. Yep, yep. Holy shit. No, that's not a fish. Oh, that's not? That's, oh. What that is, those are air bubbles. Okay. I was like, holy shit, something's coming quick. No, I, <laughs> I thought that too immediately, but then it kept going and going. Those yeah. are air bubbles okay. coming off, seeping from the mud down there. Basically the, the bottom farting. On the bottom, and he's right below your bait. See him? I said, I can do this for hours and hours and hours and never get a bite, but I'm still, well, there's a fish, there's a fish. You yeah, know, right, it's yeah. enough to keep you yep. engaged mm -hmm. and excited about yep. the, the yep. possibility. The possibility of happening, yeah. Yep. But this is something, you know, it's one more, one more tool to put in your toolbox, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, just, oh, there's one. Right in your bait. more wobble yeah that's what you want I, like I said every single descent you want that wobble the regular bondies don't have that they just go up and down but they still have the blade on the back and the blade flashes and you know kind of gets their attention but all you need is two bondies basically a dark one and a light one doesn't matter what color it is and then like maybe a wobbler the wobbler I never used to fish or I Rarely fish it because I just had so much luck on the other bondies. Here we go. There you go. Right on it. That's right. Exactly where I was. Yep. But I just started using the wobbler more like two years ago, three years ago, and I just been tearing it up. So there's that's a brush pile or something down there. I'm gonna swing his back over this way a little bit. Get us back. I want to get us back in that green area. It's a little deeper. You want to cast for a while? Whatever you or want. Or you to want do. to keep trying this? It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Your I'll call. Do. If I don't cast all day, I'm fine. Whatever you want to do. Or what we could do, there's another fish on the bottom, is we could look for some bait out maybe a little deeper water. Sure. I'll tell you what, why don't you reel it up? Let's see if we can find some other bait. Maybe a little deeper water. That's off that tip of that spine here. So what that is, that's that hump out here. And there's a little spine here and there's a long spine there. A little point here and a spine there. And they're right off the tip of that spine. So I'm gonna get us out in this area, see what we see. 
A lot of times you go out here, you know what perch look like on a graph, on, on your no. 2D? They'll be stacked up straight, like a Christmas tree. And crappies do that too, but um, you'll see perch stacked up. Okay. Instead of a big ball, be, you'll see a big line, dot, 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 dot. And then along those, a lot of times you see arcs off of those. So now we're in 15, relating to this structure here, this. And the wind's blowing down on this, and they're just stacking up in that corner. So I would say probably this whole area we could work. Yeah. I know we were focused up here because we saw so many fish. As long as we're in that green, right along that, that yellow, I'll bet you any money that there's there's more fish to be had along that. It's castable too. We could actually go out in deep water and just chuck rubber at it. The thing is, there's a little saddle in here. This green area, it's shallow, deep, and shallow again. So there's a little channel through there, a little trough. And that's where we were seeing those fish. So in that little depression, or saddle basically. A little saddle in between that shallower water. Yellow is a little shallower than that green. How about this? We saw some fish that were up high, right? Yeah. We saw bait that was bait up high. high. So throw blades up there? Rubber. Rubber. Throw rubber much? Uh like Poseidon and stuff or just dog or um I was gonna give you a tube. Okay. So you can work it and it's it's not heavy and or easy to work. I'll just show, I'll show you exactly what you do. Alright. What I'll do, I'll bring it up, I'll swing it back, and like a trebuchet. You know, a tre like a catapult? Yeah. But they have those, there's a type of catapult called a trebuchet that you actually just, it uses counterweights to whip stuff out there. Like you just throw it out there, and I just pop, pop, reel, pop, and I'm always reeling up the slack. My demonstration cast. Bait ball. <laughs> oh boy, I love when a plan comes oh together, huh? Oh my god, you asshole. You should have just let me do it right away. I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Alright, so we'll get the cameras. Awesome! Can you do me a favor? The bump board? Can you use yep. my. I see. Oh, yep, I see it. I'll get it wet for you. Yep, bunker. Just go up top. You got the net? I got the net. <laughs> nice buddy. Nice fish. <laughs> nice fish. Oh, like you said, oh, well, we saw fish under bait balls here. Yeah, yeah like you said they're chasing them bait, and then all of a sudden they fucking wanted it. Yep. That was awesome. <sighs> I took one. That's good. Keep taking. Buddy, <laughs> get that tube on your bait or on your rod. That is awesome. What do you say? That is awesome. You saw her eat too. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, I, at first he's like, "Oh, there's one." I'm like, "Shit!" I didn't want to do anything to scare it. So I'm like, "I'm just gonna sit here and just do whatever, whatever." 
Right, it's cool when you can watch the eat. Yeah. That's awesome. Where's the quarter? Where's the quarter? 47 three quarter. That would be my PB. That's awesome. I crack a beer and I have a smoke. All right. <laughs> you did just catch one, Epps. This is a team effort. Yep, absolutely. Dude. So long as we get slime in the net, I don't care whose fish it is. Right, yeah. I get just as jack netting shit, you know? Yep, that's, yeah, I mean, this is sea one finally this year. Being caught is this, you know, I'm jacked up this year. Oh, yeah. I said when I got her up, I said, that's a four-footer. He was close, quarter inch off.